Okay, so this is the Danis Weber classification of fibular fractures. And in order to remember that, I have Dennis the Menace here. He's an old-timey cartoon. I don't know if you remember him. He's holding a little spider webby thing, which I have used to use to represent the tibiofibular syndesmosis or the ankle syndesmosis, okay? And so the classification is based on either the level of the ankle joint or the ankle syndesmosis. I think more commonly now I've seen the ankle syndesmosis be used to describe where the fractures are. So I've highlighted that with the yellow cross hatching there. It's um, an interosseous uh, syndesmosis that connects the tibia and the fibula together, okay? And so if, uh, so the fractures are based on A, B, and C. A is most distal and C is proximal. So it goes from A, B, C, distal to proximal, okay? And so if there's a fracture below the level of the ankle syndesmosis, it's called a Weber A. If it's at the level of the ankle syndesmosis, it's a Weber B. And if it's above the ankle syndesmosis, it's a Weber C. Now, why is this important? Now, uh, if you're used to, if you're asked to um, classify an ankle fracture, start with the Weber classification, obviously, because it's so easy. The log Hansen classification is pretty, uh, it's difficult to remember and people make a lot of mistakes, so don't volunteer that information unless you're asked it. But this classification is important because if you have a Weber C fracture above the level of the ankle syndesmosis, you can assume that the force of trauma ripped through the tibiofibular syndesmosis, interosseous membrane, and then exploded out through the high fibula. Okay, the high fibula fractures are also known as a Mason new fracture, just so you know, it's a high yield. And if that's to happen, what's holding the fibula or the lateral malleolus in place in order to keep the talus under the tibia? Nothing. So if you see a Weber C, it's an unstable fracture that needs to be surgically fixed, okay? Um, other than that, that's pretty much it. It's just a Weber A, B, and C, and um, that's it.